Yo, yo, what up, YouTube? It's Pete here, man. Yo, I got that shit from Yo MTV Rap. The hip hop is real. I'm a, you know, I'm a kid. I'm, I'm, I'm from the '80s and '90s, you know. I, I, I was born in 1980, and, you know, and now I remember real hip hop. That's why I like using yo yo yo, and it's part of my vocabulary too. <laughs> um, I want to talk to you guys, man. Um, fucking, I recently put a post up on uh, Facebook about I hit rock bottom and this and that, but it wasn't a negative uh, post. You know, it was like for me, it was like. I'm not, you know, I put rock bottom because this has been one of the most, this has been one of the hardest years in business, man. And I think it's because I was spread out too thin and I was trying to grow my business. But anyway, man, it's just something for you guys out there feeling down and low, man. Like, man, and you feel like you have no, no, you know, there's no, no comeback when there is, man. There's always a there's always a solution to a problem, man. It just depends how clear, how 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 can you absorb it and, and what can you use from your experience to benefit from. Like me, I am at the bottom, man, right now. But it's all right. What I'm doing, I'm, I'm working. You know, I'm on limited funds. You know, I'm working, and I got other stuff in mind that I can probably apply to my business so I don't have to solely depend on preservation work as a solo as a solo you know I'm working solo you know um, what are you gonna do when shit gets rough what are you gonna do when you hit tough times and and, and the thing is is the, the main thing is not giving up it's about Keeping positive, keeping focused, and keeping true to yourself. You know, what what are you gonna do when you're at the bottom? Get out that fucking hole, whatever you're in. You know, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna pick yourself up. You're gonna work harder. You're gonna plan things. You're gonna you're gonna try to figure things out to the best that 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 you can benefit from. You know. Um, and this is me telling you guys, it can't be done because it is being done, you know? Listen, man, I'm going to share a story with you guys. And, and you know, and, I, and I'm pretty sure some of you guys are going to relate, you know? True story at that. You know, this is about a guy that went through hell in life, man. And um, he's... He, he had to struggle his whole entire life to, to make things work to his benefit, you know. Um, this guy was in the wrong track for a very long time, you know. He was out there committing all types of devious shit, you know. He was just a, a motherfucking fucker, you know. He was someone that everybody, he was someone that everybody, everybody, I mean everybody, Counting on failing and losing, and you know, to this day, people expected him to be dead or in jail. So you know that tells you that the people that was around him had very little faith, and they really didn't care about the guy too much. They didn't really support him. They didn't really show him the way, the path. You know, this man had to learn everything on his fucking own. You know, this guy has been through. Uh, Foster care, group homes, institutions, you know, fucking to 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 uh, to being incarcerated, to, to 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 going through it all, man. He, this guy, whatever life had, you know, whatever bad life can throw at him, it did. But that motherfucker just stood there and just toughed it out and grinded. And he found hope. He found new meaning in his children. He found that it was worth, life was was worth living. So he 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 
distance himself from all the negative people in his life. He cut all ties and he sat down and thought day in and day out, what can I do to benefit myself? What can I do to make things better? So he went to school for a while. He went and got a job. He went and got two jobs. He went and got three fucking jobs. And um, he did everything he had to do to pursue, to pursue his goals, his dreams. He did everything, everything, you know? Anyway, let me put this down. Hello, thank you. I just had to get a ticket from the toll. I'm actually headed north right now. Um, I gotta pick up my trailer. I was, uh, you know, this is what a preservation, uh, a proper preservation contractor's truck looks like, man. You got a bunch of locks, lock boxes, no pads, tools, and whatever he needs back there, you know. But anyway, let's keep talking about this guy, man. So the guy was doing his thing, and then life threw another fucking curveball at him. This one was probably one of the hardest he had to deal with, you know? But he overcame that and he and he grew from that. And and um he learned how to use all the negative shit that happened to his life to benefit him, to grow from it. He didn't cower in a corner, he didn't look for shortcuts. He took it. He, t- you know, he took the route that was best for him, and he overcame a lot of fucking hurdles, man. You know, he he used everything that this happened to him to benefit him. You know, and that guy's still going through trouble. He's still having tough, you know, hard times. The only thing that's motivating it is his kids. That guy is me. I've been through it all, man. But I'm not giving up. And I got people depending on me. Um, So when people talk about, oh, my life sucks, fuck you. You know, don't give up. Just don't give up this, this... there's nothing in, in, in giving up. So don't do it. Don't give up. Keep fighting for what you believe in. Keep working hard for your goals. Keep fighting for your dreams. Keep fighting to make a difference in your life. Man. Keep fighting to become that person you need to become. You know? That's what I'm telling you guys, man. Life is throwing all types of curveballs at me, man. And I'm still here. I'm still in one piece. And I'm very fortunate and I'm very grateful. You know, I have beautiful children. I have four beautiful kids that count on me to not, you know, to, 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 to do the right thing. I have a caring woman in my life. You know, I'm 36 years old. Ever since the birth of my children, that's when I really felt truly loved. But throughout my entire life, I felt like I was made to feel like I was garbage, like I was trash. I was made to feel like I was nothing. Coming from the ghettos, um, raised by a single mother that was a nut job. You know, she, she's not crazy like she used to be, my mother, but. You know, but she was a piece of work. Um, having to be in group homes and foster care, juvenile detention centers, and then even having the streets, ha- ha- the streets ha- had her grips on me too. You know, and uh, I shook all that shit loose. I cut all ties. It took me a long time to grow up, but I had to go through what I had to go through in life to become the man that I am today. You 
know, do I sit back and wonder, damn, why did I have it so hard? Damn, why did my father have to die when I was only six? You know? Why did I have to go go to group homes, foster care, and just like, I was down, man. I was like, shit, fuck. What if things were a little different? What would have my life become? Who I would have been? And, um, you know, and then I look at my children. And that's all I need to look at, right? You know, and, and, and that's, that's all I need in my life. Because women come and go. I know that for experience. But I have a good woman by my side too. And I'm very fortunate. And I'm very grateful. And I'm very happy with her. You know. So this is what I'm telling you guys. man. You can be down and out. You could be going through the, the, a real tough time. But better days are coming. Better days are ahead. Look at me. You know, I had a lot of problems, man, in life. I had a lot of learning disabilities. But that's because nobody cared about me. They just wanted to label me, you know. That's because nobody really wanted to invest time in me. Because I was just another poor motherfucker in the system, you know. I was just another number, you know. a lot of shit, man, that you can do to overcome your, your, your adversity, your, your, you know, your, your tough times, but it really just depends on you and how bad you want to do it, you know, um, for my business, things went, uh, things went real bad, you know, I'm just lucky that I can keep on doing what I do, you know, I'm just grateful that I had somebody come through and help me out when I needed them the most. Thank you, Joe. You're my, yo, my boy, man. He really helped me out, man. My truck got fucked up. He knew I had this truck. He knew I had another truck. And he said, yo, P, I'm going to hook you up, man. What do you need? I was like, well, I need to put this truck on the road. He goes, you got no money? I was like, nah, I don't. He was like, come on, man. I'm going to scoop you up. He went and picked me up. He went and helped me get the truck. He went and put it on the road for me. People that I expected to be there for me wasn't there. You know, people that I've been there for. So it took the kindness of another person to come and help me out. And that's all it takes sometimes, man. All it takes is that one, that one little gesture, man, to change everything, to turn things around. And that's what happened, man. You know, I was homeless for about two weeks. Because, you know, I had issues with my landlord. He had my truck, my, my trailer impounded. So I was like, fuck you, motherfucker. So he was like, I want you out. So I left. You know, I could have stayed. But you know what? Had I stayed, there would have been problems every other week or every so often. Had, you know, he would have been spiteful, you know. Uh, a, a lot of things could have went bad, but it didn't. And I, and I chose just to defuse the situation and deal with whatever I had to deal with, you know. I didn't have to be homeless for two weeks. I didn't have to sleep in my truck for two weeks. I didn't have to sleep in my enclosed trailer. Yeah, I slept in my enclosed trailer, the black one you guys see on my videos. You know, I just put a bed in there and just slept in there. It was all right, you know, nice and cool. I woke up in the morning, did what I had to do, and just went to work, you know. I was actually waiting on some money from my third party to, 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 so I can find an apartment. I actually had an apartment lined up. I was just waiting for that money to come in, and they didn't come through. So what do you do when shit doesn't go your way? You deal with it the best way you can, and you keep moving forward. You keep working. You don't give up. Don't give up. So whoever's going through some real tough times in life right now, man, just sit down, man, and think first, man. Think before you do anything. Think about your options. Think about your choices. Um, think of positive things, man, like, and, and set some goals and plan, you know? 
think about all that stuff, man, because, you know, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. And, um, you know, you just have to be grateful for what you have today and what you can do today because tomorrow is not promised to anybody. Tomorrow can be your last day on earth. You know? But you got to think about a lot of stuff. You're going through a tough time in life. Absorb it. Think about what are your, what can you do? You know, I'm sounding like a broken record, but you know, I'm gonna I'm tell you guys something. I had to go through what I had to go through in order to come out of it. And that's the way it is in life. We're not here, we're not here forever, you know. We're only here to do what we can while we're here. But, it, but at the same time, you know, we're here to pass the knowledge down, to, to empower our kids, to provide them a future that we didn't have a chance to. You know, we, we're here to pass our experiences to them, to, to help them become good, productive people. You know? And that's some real deal shit, man. You know, so anyway, while I was going through what I was going through, I had to, um, you know, I really had to sit down and think about what I was doing wrong, what I did wrong, why the fuck things went the way they went, and I, yeah, I, I pinpointed every fucking single thing, you know, but at the same time, I'm thinking, you know, I'm analyzing and figuring things out, my mind still kept you know, going like, what can I do better before than before? What can I do to uh, bring in more money? You know, and I, I and when I'm at my when I am at, at my worst, that's when I'm at my best. So I came up with three, uh, four good ideas. You know, we're well, really five. Um, one one is that I'm actually leaving New York City. I mean, New York. Um, I'm heading to Florida. I have an opportunity and I'm going to take advantage of it. So that's one. Two is that I'm going to still do PMP, but solo. I'm not going to try and grow and expand. That's why I fucked up. I wasn't prepared. I didn't have the money to back me up. I was counting on the money to come in that was produced by the workers for me to pay them. You know, no, I can't do that. Three, I am starting a full, a full fucking lawn care service in Florida. Lawn care and landscaping. Four, I'm also starting a power washing business. I have the setup. I have everything. So I'm starting a power washing business in Florida. And five, work 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 there's no way I can fail if I fail it's because of me because I didn't work hard enough I didn't want it hard enough you know I have my master plan I have my goals I have everything I even have goals after I achieve my goals I have a plan for after I have I reach you know, I, I finalized my first master plan, you know. You know, that's what I didn't do the first time around, man. I didn't plan. The only goal, the only thing I wanted to do was just work, 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 work. I didn't save whatever I did. Yeah, I did save, but my savings dried up real quick. Motherfuckers will be surprised how much $30,000, how fast 30, 30 stacks can go, man. Or 20, or 10, five. Even a thousand, you know, people, you know, you'll be real surprised how fast it can get gone, like, gone. So, you know, I just want you guys to think, man. So when times are looking rough and hard, you know, don't give up. You know, don't give up. It's, 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 there's no satisfaction in giving up. You know what's a, a good feeling? <laughs> when you wake up and you're like, damn, dude. I can't believe I went through that shit. Fuck. 
And you use that, man. You use that to, to benefit you, man. You know? That's the way life is, man. It's tough. But anyway, man, I'm just sharing you, with you guys my experiences, my life. And this is what I, I you know, I'm just telling you, man, what I, what, what's working for me. I want you guys to share this, man. I want you guys to, to, to share this video. And hopefully it can help somebody out. And I'm telling you guys, man, this shit, this shit did happen for real, man. My entire whole life has been fucked up. But I'm not using that to have a fucked up life. I'm using that to have a better life. To provide for my children. But anyway, man. I gotta go. Um, to my subscribers, thank you. Um, you know, anybody has any questions, any comments, please leave them. But I will let you guys to share this video. Anyway, man. I gotta jump. I gotta pay this toll. And um, I've been yapping for 22 minutes. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Peace.